Cory Breyer is having a show in the uh, back room part of uh, Blackfish. Mm -hmm. uh, these are monotypes, uh -huh. yeah. which means that they are they're not reproducible in exactly the same way. They're uh -huh. one-off, you know, mono. So you can see one -off. I work with plexiglass. Mm -hmm. I work on plexiglass as my plate mm -hmm. and draw the ink. I use litho ink. Uh, I can draw with the ink with a brush or actually I've discovered a, a way of using it with a little uh, syringe so that I can squirt the ink out and get a finer line right on the plexiglass uh, or roll it out. And if you roll it out, you have the option of wiping away big sections uh, so that you get a form if that's what you want, or just getting white from the uh, paper. It hey, looked look like uh, this one uh, mm -hmm. over here. Seems like uh, you rolled. You were rolling that right there on the. Uh, 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 yes. Yeah. Well, uh, first of all, I, th this has been printed on maybe. Uh, 10 or 15 times. It's, it was a series of, of uh, monotypes huh. that I just then printed on again and again, and built up the image that I wanted to uh, get. Huh. And I started with, I mean, you can almost see that the, the um, I think it was a ghost from the previous one. This is, this is one of the dragonflies that was oh, uh, I see. I see. a ghost. Uh -huh. uh, that is to say, I had printed a print and then there was a little bit of ink left uh -huh. uh, on the plate and I ran it through again with a clean, clean bit of paper and it left the ghost. Mm -hmm. But then I began to uh, print over it, mm -hmm. inverting it and doing many different things. It looks like uh, these are all uh, dragonfly series. These are mostly dragonflies. I found yeah. a, uh, well, it wasn't exactly a dragonfly. I don't know what it was. It was a mayfly or some, of some kind in, in the garage. It was, uh -huh. uh, and it had wonderful long legs uh -huh. that were, I don't think I've utilized them. I don't think you can see them here. Right this almost reminds me of uh, like a flower. Oh, it does, yeah. it does. It looks like that, doesn't it? But I think uh, again, the body and it, I was trying to get movement in some of them, but I don't, I'm not particularly interested in having you know, a series of, of things that are just, just uh, dragonflies or just flowers. You know. oh, this one actually uh, was called Spin Trap. Spin Trap. And I guess in a vague sort of way, I was looking at it and thinking. Um, about the larva, the, 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 is it larva or the larva. pupil stage? You know, uh -huh. when they when they're insides, when when these uh, insects are inside uh, something tight, uh, and then maybe even trying to get out. None of these were specific. It was just sort of a general uh, feeling. And then I thought, he's moving and he's uncomfortable and he's spinning. For instance, at some point I did just this. This, by the way, is was created, this line I created with the uh, syringe, oh. squirting, squirting the uh, ink out as I, um, as I drew. Mm. You draw by squirting it out. I think maybe that one, uh, I, I was doing a whole series also of flowers, and there's a, there's a movement that I've always loved. There are things that are constricted and then get released. Um, and this was a sort of... Uh, um, always work with circles, uh, love circles. Looks sort of like twigs and, and uh, buds to me. Maybe some matches down there, but again. Uh, could be. How about this one here? Oh, that one's pretty straightforward. Um, yeah. It was... Uh, I think it was one of the earlier dragonflies. But also, there are um, surprises you know, all along the way. There are things that don't exactly come out as you mm -hmm. think they are, but then they can lead you t to the next thing. They tell you where the print has to go yeah. uh, from that. It's a very... Um, some inspiration. Yes, and it's not too tight. It's, it's easy to... Remember, one of the earliest people that I... Uh, I ever worked with, teachers I ever worked with said, you know, you never can make mistakes in, in monotypes because 
sort of can like keep painting. going. Like yeah, it, like sort of like painting. painting. You can paint over your mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's, uh, I like the physicality of it. Yeah. I like the, um, I love the way that you can get different, different uh, effects. For instance, this uh, monotype has almost shiny surfaces mm -hmm. in some places because I've layered it so many times. But uh, early on, mm -hmm. uh, I was working with a very running ink. I put a lot of, um, a lot of uh, um, mineral spirits in there to make it quite uh, soft mm -hmm. and running. So is this uh, oil-based or water-based? No, this is oil-based. Mm -hmm. um, I work with litho inks because they seem to be the most... Uh, hello. Hey boy. I, <laughs> I work with litho inks because they seem to be the most uh, densely pigmented and um, I just like the quality of them. So it's, it's oil based. But no, no solvents that are bad. So you don't have to go do that. Well, thanks, uh, thanks Tori.